Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Felix Arts. This is the final stage on how to shade on Sketchbook app. So guys, um, you might be wondering why I didn't add the last step I did on the part five. So um, I will sh show you what I did here. Okay, so um, how I add that glow effect. So um, what I did here was that I have to go back to this layer right here. Okay, so once I click um. Once I click the background, so I have to adjust it to to twelve. Okay. So once I did that, then what you will do next is to create a new layer. Okay. So I'm um, creating this new layer. Just to create new layer. So what you just do is I just go to this side right here. Then just click the plus button okay so once you click the plus button to create a new layer now i'm going to use the color black you can use any other tool you want okay but i'm going to be using my paint tampered then increase the size then do it like this okay so once you are done with that what you just do here is just take just click on that layer then take it down to 14 percent So once you take it to to fourteen percent, now um, what you just do next, just to zoom in, okay? You zoom in, then use the use the um, soft eraser, okay? Use the soft um, just use the soft eraser to erase this particular side. You don't need to uh, erase much like that, okay? So once you just erase that side, then you can see the. That's a, a place that you erased. Then you see one white hole inside, just like that. Okay. Now, what to do next is to create a new layer above this layer right here. So once you create a new layer, you just click on the layer, then click to blending, then you scroll down, then um, click glow. Okay. So once you are done done with that. Now you just zoom in, then use your, your flow airbrush, then go to the copy color. Now I'm going to be using the um, Y15. So I'll just increase the size like this. Okay, then start adding it. You can see, just like that. So once you are done adding, you can use your hard airbrush to add this one too okay so um what to add next again you can just go back to this layer again then you just click the plus button to create a new uh, a new layer then um, you're, then you're going to add the spark code so um you can use the color above you can use this one or this one okay so you just add it like this just like that so so guys um this is the final stage okay guys thanks for watching